Hi. I love Shakespeare. Let's have a little fun. Okay, this journal is from 5-8-2010, the first of the day. My niece Luann graduated that day. It was 8 wind, the Mayan day. To be or not to be, what? I fell asleep while uploading videos to the net last night. Not such a good thing to spend the whole night in that net, that frequency grid. Oh well, no one's perfect, least of all me. Nor do I try to be, not intentionally. No point, can't be done anyway. Just chasing our tail, that is. And without even the enjoyment the dog gets in that tail, lol. Life is grand. We've got to stop trying to break it up into bits and pieces, saying this piece is good, that piece over there, oh no, that one's bad. It's all good. That doesn't mean it's all equally enjoyable, of course. It's not. Still, once you set your intent to enjoy the whole lot, even that begins to change. And why wouldn't it? Aren't we great creators? Doesn't our intent, the way we trim our sails, set our will, have anything to do with this? You bet it does. We have so much more power than we can even begin to realize while locked here in 3D. Read that in the mind. Yeah, I've about decided that 3D is a mind creation, pretty much entirely. Now, that doesn't mean it's all the creation of a single mind. Let me rephrase that. Looked at from above, from the higher frequencies, it may well be the creation of one mind. After all, from the right perspective, everything is all one, but looked at and understood as well as one can while in the 3D matrix, it is very much a joint thing, a co-creation. Perhaps rather like having two hands and doing different things with both together, such as playing the piano. Heck, even the organ, where it's easier to get both hands and both feet involved doing different things. Joint co-creation, yet one seeming person. Well, just like that, we're all eyes on the world, the world that seems to be out there, so we see from different perspectives, different eyes. You can spell it either way, E-Y-E -E or capital I, it doesn't matter. It's the same thing. Different perspectives, joint co-creation of life, of the now, or in the now. Hmm. What say you to that? It's pretty deep, bears heart pondering. You as one I E Y E out of many, but all in the one body. Let's take it further. If you are one body, then you're well aware of what the various bits, parts, parts and pieces of you are doing, right? The organist is quite well aware, has to be. Well, it's like that in our higher consciousness. It really is. This being one stuff is no joke, no esoteric blah blah. It's quite real. That is you. That is I. That is me. But now let's bring it back down into 3D once again. Now let's take another look. How does it appear from here now? 
We see separation all around, don't we? Well, that would be no trouble, no challenge even, if mind wasn't involved, if we were fully in heart. Heart knows the truth, capital T, at all times. Heart is the oneness we are. It doesn't need to know it. It is it. Feel this. Okay, but most of us here are in mind, are we not? Ah, there's the rub indeed. It's kind of funny too. Yes, I find funny in pretty much everything. You will too, soon, trust me. But anyway, it's kind of funny how the bard said, quote, what dreams may come when we cast off this mortal coil. <laughs> Indeed, there's the rub. It's from his to be or not to be soliloquy. A soliloquy is just a guy talking to himself, by the way. And yeah, somehow it's usually guys. Interesting that. But to return, there's Hamlet pondering whether to be or not to be, to end it in a Danish Harry Carey or to continue on. And he's pondering the bad stuff that may come on the other side if he suicides. Well, get this. What dreams may come is really this 3D life. This is the dream, my friends. It has come. Now it's time for it to go. Time to wake up. Wake. Hmm. In Ireland, is it they have a wake for a dead guy? Never thought about that. Why awake? Is it because he's waking up elsewhere? Hmm. Interesting thought. Maybe someone will comment me the answer. But to return. What dreams may come as we cast off the higher self, the spiritual oneness reality, and enter here into this dimension, into these 3D bodies, may again give us pause. Whether tis nobler to come on down, do the dance, learn to walk and wear diapers thing yet again, or not, to remain to really be there above, to stay in our oneness. Oh, one can have quite a bit of fun with different perspectives, you see, and it's all rather harmless. It does the mind good as well, poor mind. It needs to be shown that heart has quite a power to envision and imagine all its own, and it goes well beyond mind. Mine's in the back seat for this ride. Actually, sometimes we just leave it to its own devices.